This is the plaintiff, Gabrielle Cisneros. She says the defendants are God's sister, who she grew up with, and they shared an apartment together. Well, things didn't work out because the defendant's boyfriend practically lived there, pranced around in see-through underwear, and she moved out. Now the defendant owes her money, refuses to pay, and that's why she's here suing her for the $1,010 she's owed. This is the defendant, Paige. She says the plaintiff's a control freak who tried to rule her life once she moved in. The woman was always miserable and cranky, and she moved out without any notice. This whole situation's very sad, as she's known her since she was a baby, but owe her money? No way. She's accused of letting a god sister down. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $1,300 for a real estate broker's fee. All parties, please raise your right hands. What you are about to witness is real. The participants are not actors. They are actual litigants with a case pending in civil court. Both parties have agreed to drop their claims and have their cases settled here before Judge Marilyn Millian in our forum, the People's Court. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, okay, man. Gabrielle Cisneros, you are suing Paige. You've asked to be referred to only by your first name for the return of a security deposit that you say she is inappropriately holding, plus the value of some items she won't return. What happened? Basically, um, we moved in together around December. How did you December. two know each other? We're God sisters. Um, our mothers were friends and worked together, and they chose my. Her mother chose my mother to bless. Page. To be to be the godmother? Yes. Okay. So you've known each other since you were babies? Yes. Have you been good friends all that time? Yeah. Well, this is tragic. <laughs> Unfortunately. Go on. I spoke to her before moving in, saying I don't, I feel uncomfortable. I wanted to know about her and her boyfriend's situation, if he's going to be there all the time, if he's going to be there some of the time, because I don't feel like it's fair for me to live in a place where I'm paying half the rent and her boyfriend's living there rent free. Did she say how many days he was there? She said that he isn't there. He's only there maybe maximum three times a week. Okay. Um, after finding out and living there, he's there basically six days a week. Okay. And I spoke to her again for the second time about it. He said, she said she'll tell him to not come as around more often. I had to speak to her a third time. I can see how that would be annoying whether you loved him or not, but did you also not get along with him or? It's just, I felt like it was un inappropriate. He was more comfortable in my own apartment than I was in this apartment. Okay. He would walk around with no shirt on. He would walk around, he would come straight come out the shower where I'm here. There'll be times where he's there and she's not even there. Okay. And he has a key and everything, doesn't pay any bills, doesn't pay any, doesn't contribute anything. When you said he'd come right out of the shower, what were you gonna say? He'll come right out of the shower with the towel on. Uh, and with a towel on? I've seen enough of him. You see, <laughs> you've seen him naked? What are you? <laughs> no, I've seen outlines oh, okay. of All what right. I don't All need right. to see. Okay. Yes. Gotcha. All right. So finally you've had it and you say to her, look, I've really got to go. Yeah, I told her. She I... was living there first. You moved in with her, right? Yes, she was okay. there before. And did you give her a security deposit? Yes, I How gave much? her security and mm -hmm. first month rent, 1500 uh, How long did you live there? Until March, December. So how to many March. months? December, January, February, March. Four months. All right. When do you tell her that you're leaving? I told her March 30th that I'm planning on leaving, that I'm looking for a place. And then what happens? She said, um, she basically told me, I fig she figured as much, and when do I plan on leaving? I said, I don't know. I will let you know. I will communicate with you, and I will even find All you another roommate. All this is by text, because God forbid yes. you speak to each other as God sisters. Go on. Yeah. Um, I was, and I will even find the roommate for you. And she said, no, she doesn't want a roommate, and she'll be looking for a place for herself. Okay. The next day, I tell her, I'm going to pay for the rent myself. A like, for April. my part. My You're going to pay your rent. portion of the rent in April to who? To, to the, the landlord? landlord. You wanted to pay directly to the landlord. Yes. Why? I just wanted to pay directly to the landlord because the month before, in February, she put me in a hole because she bought unnecessary things. I had to pay, and I paid it. For her for that and she put me in a hole because of that oh that's the other 260 that you're suing yes for. that's that part of the 260 
Wait, just the, tell me why the landlord instead of her. It's not like you pay less if you pay the landlord. I don't understand what you're saying. Because I wanted you to didn't just trust go her, straight. but why? I just wanted to go straight to the landlord just because she put me in a hole. And I felt like she was basically moving around her money so that I can pay her um, I mean, if you're leaving bills. anyway, it's not like... No, I wasn't planning on leaving in April. I was just taking, I was going to take my time and leave whenever okay. I so choose to. All right, so you tell her I want to pay the landlord directly, and what does she say? She didn't like it. She said, no, that's not unnecessary. And I didn't feel, I was just like, I don't understand why is it unnecessary. Well, because it's not your agreement. Your agreement was that you would be paying her rent, so that's why she feels it's unnecessary. So in any event, what happens then? And then we got into this whole argument about everything within that's going on in the apartment. And I told her, I would just say, and she asked me, what would you like me to do? And I said, you know what? I want you to tell your boyfriend to pay some bills because he's living there rent free. I don't have like there. I work all the time and I just felt like I was, it was unfair. So I told her after that, I was like, you know what? This is not, this is not working out. I'll move out. I'll move out immediately. And what day was that that you said that to her? March 31st. Okay. When do you move out? I moved out April 5th because when I came home that night, I was going to stay all of the month of April. When I came home that night, there was nothing in the apartment. I walked Wait, in. Wait, what day did you come home and there was nothing in the apartment? March 31st, that same day that we had that argument. Okay. What happened? So basically, my boyfriend was coming over, but I lived there previously, and I've always had roommates in my family. Did she really have a conversation with you beforehand and tell she you had about... One, I had told her that he, he was there often. She said, I don't mind as long as he's not in the way. And we discussed, I said, oh, oh so yeah. she never said, listen, I don't want him there every single day. I don't think that's fair. No. Okay, so at some point she decides, though, it's not working for her. She talks to you about it a couple of times while she she's living She talks to me there. once. Well, whatever. And the, then it didn't change, so she decided this isn't working for me. It did change, and her attitude didn't change towards the situation, so I didn't deem it worth it because she You went, people are killing me. How old are you? 23, and she's 21. And you guys have known each other your entire lives. You know how rare that is? That you have a friend like that that you can consider a sister? I mean, when I asked, what's your relationship? It wasn't we're friends, we're lifelong friends. Your answer was, she's my god sister. That's how you guys have referred to each other all the time. Whose idea was it to move in together? Bad idea. I told her to stay with her mother because she has the luxury of having her mother here. She doesn't get along with her mother, so she said she wanted to uh, move she's out. She's 21. She wanted to move out. But so I, that's you know. fine, but... It is unbelievable to me that you guys would let $750 come in between you like this. It, Why didn't you give her back her security deposit? Because so your feeling was me. what? She still has property in my building. I okay, can't even rent out the What property does she still to. have in your house? She has a vanity set, a nightstand, her... Uggs, and she has some of her food there. Oh, some of her food? Yeah. So if her food needs to pay rent? All right, what if she tell me, show food? me a picture of the vanity so I can see how much room that's taking up. And did you take out all the furniture? Yes, I did take the furniture. Okay, but why? Because I didn't want to go through the fight where I'm fighting with, oh, who's going to take what? Who's going to take this? Because I knew at the end of the day she was going to go know, back to her mother's house. I but when you take out all the furniture that she rented the place with, her argument now becomes, why should I have to pay April rent? She took out all the furniture. I had nowhere to sit. If you had not pulled out all the furniture to be spiteful, if you had just tried to calm the situation instead of escalating it, and she stayed till April 5th, I'd be making her pay rent. She doesn't have to give you notice. You're in the city of New York. In the city of New York, unlike everywhere else on the planet, you don't have to give notice on a month to month. Apparently, the government, the legislators have deemed it that it's so easy to get a renter in New York that a renter could just say on the 31st at midnight, ha ha, see ya, and hang up, and then that's it. You're done. So she doesn't have to give you 30 days notice. Why do you still have stuff there? That's garbage. Well, you don't get to leave your garbage behind. Well, I was Let me going see that. To, but... You guys are just unbelievable. What's this $260 for, for miscellaneous items for the apartment? What's that? The stuff that she took, the utensils, this the cleaning it? supplies, everything. Okay. You would be entitled not to rent for something like this. You would be entitled to the fee to remove it because she doesn't get to leave junk behind. But it's not $750 to remove that. I could remove that with one finger. All right, go on. What? Just... Stuff for the bathroom supplies. Why um, would you not have supplies. used those supplies? You lived there for three months. Like, how is this somebody's going to pay you back for supplies that were communal that you guys used up and during the time that you lived there? What do you mean? 
Because there was nothing. Because there was still some left in the bottle. Should I try to figure out how much shampoo was in the bottle? Well, I wasn't petty like that. I well, was. You're gonna... making, but you want me to be petty like that. I'm just saying. You're being I'm petty not. like that now when you add that two hundred and sixty dollars for communal items mm -hmm. that you guys are buying to, for the apartment. Yep, yeah, because I came home March thirty first expecting everything to yeah, be. Yeah, except where for it's that at. you're being petty because you're suing for money that you spent in February, not in March thirty first. You're both petty. This could have been a beautiful thing, a friendship that lasted cradle to grave. How many people can say that? Welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey Levin here. So, um, if you have uh, two roommates and one of them gets a boyfriend or a girlfriend, um, are they allowed to have that person over almost every night without paying additional money or splitting the rent in a third rather than half? Yes. Because? <laughs> um, because that person is already paying for their... That's true, but now there are three people in the room. Yeah, I, I, I think uh, they should split it equally. Well, but equally is 50-50. If a girlfriend or boyfriend starts staying over, is it a third, a third, a third, or is it still 50-50 with the two people? That's the math problem for you. I think it's not in the contract, so they can't stay there because that's not what the person signed up for. The person signed up for two people, not three. Fair enough. Going inside the courtroom. You have a counterclaim against her for $1,300 for a real estate broker. Do tell. Okay. <laughs> So moving into that apartment, Gabby did get unemployed for a short amount of time. I don't want to hear it. I want to hear what the thirteen hundred dollars is for. I'm not. I'm done hearing the history of this case. Because I had to move out on such short notice, and I feel like I put so much work into that apartment. Because even though she was unemployed, I did all the shopping. I took Ubers home just to bring stuff home right after work. So I would come home. I did four or five trips. Did you? I, to I've bring heard like to a that couple apartment. of references to why each of you are trying to justify why you didn't hang out with each other more. You know, you're saying, well, she would hang out elsewhere all the time because she goes out with a lot of friends and then she wouldn't come home and and then she's like well your her boyfriend would come home and then she'd run right to her boyfriend so we didn't get to spend time together and then you're, you're like disappointed her boyfriend would have wanted her to come out with me anyway that's not necessarily well, true, like a little couple of babies you, know, you, guys, you guys work out that little part of it in the hallway <laughs> so you want her to pay your real estate broker for a new apartment yeah because don't I be have... ridiculous she doesn't even have to give you notice <laughs> So no, okay, so okay. your counterclaim, that was easy. It was worth it. All right, try. and then let's talk about the security deposit, the miscellaneous items that were used in the apartment, that's not happening. Um, and the $750, I'm gonna allow you to keep $100 for removal of the stuff that she left behind because she's not allowed to do that. And as far as the other $650, I'm ordering you to pay back the $650. Good luck to you, ladies. So the plaintiff does prevail, gets her money back. Paige, let me just ask you something very simple. The judge thinks both of you are just being petty. Are you still friends? Can you be friends? Is it all over? What? I mean, I'm not really interested in a further friendship, honestly. Why not? Why not? Because You've I, known her how many years? But I feel like once you play with my, my shelter, my money, or my family, you're dead to me, so that's fine. How, how do you feel about this? What's your no opinion? Comments. You don't want to comment no. on it. So as far as you're concerned, there's no hope for a friendship anymore? I'm not really? interested. She's very disrespectful, miserable, and lonely, so wow, that's her did... business. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. You must sign some documents with Officer McIntosh. Now here comes Mr. Cisneros. How do you feel about this? Are you, are you sorry that this relationship has gone so sour so quick? No, it is what it is. It is what it is. You don't care, huh? Why should I? It's well, she's been your now. friend for your whole life. It's over? It is what it is. What a shame. Do you think you're petty? The judge thinks you're very, very petty, the two of you. There was petty circumstances, but I think if she, if she wanted to actually work on it, then she, it wouldn't have happened. What a shame. What a shame. Harvey, what do you think? You know, Doug, it's as simple as this. You have to set ground rules when you move in with somebody. This whole thing could have been avoided. And that will do it for this case. Litigants, for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.